An operating table in Switzerland for a transplant operation from nose to leg. Doctors in the country have reported that cartilage cells taken from patients' own noses have been used to successfully produce cartilage transplants for the treatment of knees. Two years after reconstruction, most recipients reported improvements in pain, knee function and quality of life, said the doctors. The results are the first conclusion of a large-scale trial. The process consists in the harvest of a small biopsy. It's a six millimeter punch biopsy from the nasal septum of the patient. This biopsy is chopped into small pieces. The cells are isolated from these small pieces and expanded in number over culture time of about two weeks. Once the tibia is held at the correct angle, the damaged cartilage is cut out and a new one prepared. Surgeons place the new cartilage next to the section of the old one. The aim is to create tissue that is good as the original, researchers say. And we think with our therapy in the future we can improve patient function. I also think for the patient it feels, it feels right to have a biologic repair of his joint and not to have um, something artificial in his joint. Questions still remain. What the team doesn't have is a long-term assessment of the patient's transplants to prove the success of the procedure. We do not have evidences about the long-term durability of our grafts. So uh, in our indications for treatment, we exclude patients with uh, degenerative diseases. Phase two of the trial has now begun, following the success of the earlier study. Okay, now a great question.